So I got this fitness tag sent to me from Julia the Fit. And she asked me to do it. So I was like, sure, why not? I don't have anything else to do with my boring life. So this fitness tag, she made herself, she said, and it is composed of questions and then actual fitness stuff that I have to do for you guys. Aren't you so happy? So the first question is, how fit do you consider yourself to be? Are you happy with the shape you're in? I say that my body type is athletic, but on the more meatier, fatter side of athletic. <laughs> I am athletic, pretty big muscly muscles. And then you have to be comfortable in the skin that you're in. You can't like hate on yourself all the time or that's not good. You have to be comfortable with yourself, but you have to know that you can't just be like, oh, I'm perfect. There's always room for improvement on yourself. So all you people out there who think you're perfect, you're not, you're not. And then some people have a lot of room for improvement while others only have a little bit. So yeah, I'm like in the middle there. I have some improvement and I'm working on it now. Um, question number two. Do you play any sports? Uh, yes, I play soccer. I try out for my school's team but I quit during tryouts. It wasn't a good time. It's, it was terrible. I was so terribly out of shape. So I just, I just quit and gave up. But I mean, now that I think about it, it would've been really hard to do in the nursing program because they did fail two classes. Besides those activities, do I exercise as well? Why, well, yes I do. I have been doing P90X for 30 days now. Today's my 31st day, I haven't started yet though. So then, before I started P90X, I was going to my school gym and I would go on the elliptical for 30 minutes and I'd like hardcore that crap out, going like 10 miles an hour. I like endurance like seven, like really tough. It was hard, I swear, and I was like, I can't do this out of here, but I pushed myself. And then I would do some weights, I'd do like, like ups and downs and ups and downs and then you hold the weights and you bring them behind and you bring them up and you bring them behind that one's really hard <laughs> i would use 10 pound weights if anyone was wondering i also like to play volleyball i play it for fun but i'm a terrible server you know you gotta like throw it up and then like, like yeah i'm not very good at it at all i just play it for fun that's how I met my boyfriend, actually. Ah, volleyball. <laughs> Do you have any fitness or health related goals? My goals <laughs> are to have some abs. I want this sexy stomach coming in, you know? Be able to like run, maybe try out for soccer next season at my school, see if I can handle it. Yeah. This is the only body I have, so I want to treat it well. So that is a healthy goal right there. Treat your body with respect. It's the only one you have. You only got one to live. If you want to make it fat and gross, go for it. If you want to look sexy as hell, I root for you. Which celebrity would you, what celebrity body would you like to have? Um, I was actually looking online because I couldn't think of like any celebrities at the top of my head. I don't like have a celebrity that I'm like in love with or anything. Don't mind those Miley Cyrus posters on my wall. <coughs> But I was looking and they're either like really skinny or like really fat or like chunky. I was trying to find like someone who's like a good role model, like a good example, who's nice and fit and doesn't look disgustingly emaciated. So I came up with Julian Huff. I'll put a picture in here somewhere. I don't know. But I mean, she looks pretty good. If I do say so myself, I would definitely have her body. I would also take her face because she is a good looking woman. What's your favorite and or least favorite exercise? So I was going through this whole thing before I answered the questions and then you have to like show, do some activities after and one of them is do your favorite exercise. <laughs> but I don't have a favorite exercise. I 
I've been doing Planet X, so there's like a lot of exercises in it, and I like pretty much all of them. But my favorite is the Groucho, and obviously I'll show you guys later. And then my least favorite is push-ups. I cannot do push-ups to save my life. And sadly for me, and lucky for you guys, you get to see me fail at doing push-ups. How important is leading an active and healthy lifestyle? This is so important to me. I think being healthy is like one of the best things you can do for yourself. I have high cholesterol. And it's not because I go out and eat McDonald's. Like, I hate McDonald's. I don't eat cake, ice cream, soda. Like, it just runs in my family. And so does diabetes and heart things like heart attacks, heart failures, a whole bunch of that stuff. And it's just genetic. It just happens in my family. We're not fat or anything like that. It just happens. <laughs> so... I'm working out so that doesn't happen to me. Obviously, I don't want to worry about myself becoming diabetic or anything like that. If I can try to stop it, that's good. If I get it anyways, at least I tried. How much attention to a healthy diet do you pay? I pay pretty good attention to a healthy diet. As I just said, I don't eat cakes, ice creams, sodas, like anything like that. Um, right now I'm trying to wean myself off of pastas and pizzas. So, oh yeah, like if someone waved any of those items in my face, I would not be tempted to be like, ah, oh, give me that, yum, 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 yum. Like if I drink soda, it makes me sick. Like that's, I don't like it anymore. So that's one thing you can try is to like wean yourself off of things that you know are bad for you because it, your taste buds will adapt to whatever it is you're eating more of or eating less of. Like when I was really little, I decided not to drink iced tea. I don't know why, but I just did. No. So now I don't like want to drink iced tea. Like if it was the last thing in the world, I guess I would drink it. But like I never drank it as a kid because I stopped myself. So it is possible. And then like the vegetables and stuff, I'm trying to make myself eat them because when I was a kid, I never did, so I'm into carrots right now. Mm, I love carrots, so good. <laughs> so I have to like try to eat things that you know are good for you that you don't like. Just like slowly lean yourself into it. Um, one thing you can do is to stop eating butter and use vegetable oil instead. That's what I use. I use vegetable oil instead of butter. It's better for you. What's your biggest diet secret? Um, I am not on a diet at all in any way shape or form no diets at all here sorry move along i do not believe in diets i feel like diets you think in your head oh i'm on a diet and then your brain just wants you to be like you're gonna cave you're gonna cave so just eat that cake because you know you want it so i am not on a diet this is a lifestyle choice to eat healthy it goes with anything though change is hard to do so if you gradually build yourself into it, it it's not going to be like a chore. It's just going to be how you normally live your life. Do you smoke or have you ever smoked in the past? I do not smoke anything. I do not drink anything. I am straight edge, as people call it. I don't do anything. I like my body. I don't want to hurt it. Okay, so that is the end of the question portion. And now an active part. There's five things I have to do for you guys. So we'll get to it.
down. And of course, stats kind of ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed my um, fitness workout tag. Like it if you liked it and subscribe to me. I'm going to be doing more fitnessy, diety, not really diet, but fitnessy type of videos and motivational stuff for all you guys out there in the world who want it. And if you don't, sorry, I'll still try to be like, this is me putting on makeup. I'll try to do those too. Goodbye, I love you.